Hello, everybody. We're uh, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild today. Gonna switch it up a little bit with uh, some lion hunting, and then of course, gonna hunt some whitetail after, as always. Because you know, Scarecrow just can't leave alone the whitetail. Got gotta go for whitetail, you know. <laughs> Let's take down some lions first, though. Oh, there's a male there. I love lion hunting. Like, it's just so much fun. Because the lions just, they just do wacky stuff like this, and you can just shoot a bunch of them. Dude, dude, chill. Okay, I, I said you were doing wacky stuff, but that's too wacky for me, even. <laughs> hey, CJO, how's it going? The crow has returned. I have indeed crayfish. That is right. The crow is here with another stream with a bunch of lions and whitetail. Is it a dream? No, no, Scarecrow always hunts whitetail. Thank you, Eyeballs. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed that, dude. I'm just happy that I was able to show that you could still get them. Because I know newer people to the game may think that herd management's the only way to get great ones, but I think we show that that's not the case. Use the 30-30 for whitetail? Ah, uh, we could maybe do a 30-30 video. Uh, to be honest, it's been a while since I've done a 30-30 related video besides taking that great one down. I'm doing good, Kelsey. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. Boom. Level six. All right, let's do a quick loop around and try to get those. When am I switching uh, back to Black Bear? Probably in a couple of days, EB Rex. I'm gonna do some bear grinding tonight off camera, and then uh, we'll probably do some more uh, bear grinding streams tomorrow. I just need to figure out where all my bears have gone. The part of the reason why I'm not doing the bear grind on stream right now is because it's so slow. I, I, I feel like it's just not entertaining to watch when I'm only finding like 15 bears every hour. And so I've been doing stuff that's a little bit more action packed on live streams like Whitetail and now Lion, because Lion are actually quite action packed. Hey, Ben, how's it going, man? Hey, Huntress. Nice, Bugs. Nice. I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm starting to think that it does not affect them, which is kind of what I always had suspicions of. Like, people said that it affected it, but I, I don't know if it did, because we've been doing fine without it. Like, 1,300 kills and we got our great one that's the same as... All of our other whitetail great ones, for the most part, they've all been anywhere from 500 to 2,000, except for like the first couple. Hey, James, you haven't missed anything too crazy yet. Just kind of getting started with the lions. Smoking as many of them as we can. This lake is just so insane. I absolutely love hunting this lake right here. There's so many lions around here. So much money to be had. These lions are honestly an amazing money farm. Oh, there's a five there too. All right, let's start blasting them. You ever smoke a lion on the base drop? We just did. Holy, 40 hours drawn, what are you doing? My gosh. Are you sick or something? 40 hours is a long time, man. That's a long time without food. Hope you're doing good. Can I just, no I can't. Wait, can I, did I? I mean, now I did. He's dead now. He ain't coming back from that one. <laughs> Nothing there. Thank you, Susan. I'm glad you enjoy it. You feel a great one coming? I hope so, Beast Mode. 
I mean, we just got a great one not too long ago. So I, I don't think we're going to get a great one today, but I, I kind of hope we do. I mean, that'd be awesome. Also, did you guys enjoy the video I posted today talking about how I would like to see a great one lion in the game? And uh, kind of what I think they should do with it? Hoping that you guys enjoyed it. You guys liked it? Alright, awesome. Awesome. Nice, Logan. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Oh, that's not fun, Drawn. Hope you get better, man. Can you plug a mouse and keyboard in on console for Call of the Wild? Uh, I don't believe so. I've heard a lot of people say it doesn't work. Ah, come on. Floaters. Ah, the floaters. And it's the only male, of course. The only male over there floats. <laughs> Thank you, Faded. You can't? Yeah, it's kind of what I figured. Oh, gotcha, Becky. No worries, no worries. What's the best spot for lions? This lake right here. Near the uh, starting outpost. Kind of just over here. It's insane. Yeah, Outdoor Mason. I mean, it kind of makes sense, though. I hunt them more. Naturally, the species I hunt the most is going to be the one I have the most great ones of. I am, however, surprised I only have six red deer because I've killed almost the same amount of red deer as I did whitetail. Good luck. Good luck. Hope you, hopefully you get something crazy. Hopefully you get yourself a giant, giant male. Ooh, widgeons. Beautiful. We got some Eurasian widgeons. Beautiful. The widgeons are cool. I like them a lot. They honestly fit really well on this map. What time do lion drink? Lion typically drink at 12. There's a lion. Ooh, the heart shot for the kill. Yeah, PB, I'm using uh, tents, but not tripods at the moment. I still need to set things up for that. Jeez, Drawn. Well, I hope you get better soon. That that sounds really rough. That, that does not sound fun at all. Hey, Crayfish, how's it going? What do you mean, Crayfish? I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused what you're referring to. The one live stream I miss you killed so many cool deer. I know, Savoy. I had a few people tell me that that was like the only one they had missed recently. And that's when we got all the good stuff. Ooh, mythical. You'll love to see it. Is that a dark brown? That mane looked really dark. I'm probably just seeing things, but that looked like a very dark mane. Probably just the, uh... Probably just the shadows, though. Uh, because a lot of people have been asking for a Lion Great One, Nolan. That's why I'm hunting them. All the people asking for a Lion Great One, and then also me hunting them on my beginner series to make money for the uh, episodes, it just has made me want to hunt them. It made me see just how much fun they are. And so I figured, why not start up a Lion Grind and try to get the blonde male, because I don't have a blonde male. So it's actually a bunch of different reasons. Ah, uh, maybe at some point, Elias. 
Oh, definitely Megatron. Like, hunting the lions on my beginner series really made me enjoy them. And, and showed me how much I like them. Thank you, Sam. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, and also, guys, just a heads up. My wife just brought a uh, lunch up, so... If I don't talk for a few seconds, I'm probably uh, taking a bite of food. Because obviously I'm not going to talk while I'm eating. Now that would just be weird. Let's get this guy first. I believe this is... That does look like a dark mane. I think it's just the lighting, though. Yeah, yeah, that's just the lighting. Okay, that's not even the right one. Yeah, it's definitely just the lighting then, because that would be the mythical. Gosh, man, the shadows really trick you on this map. The amount of times that I think I've got a uh, dark brown line in front of me and it's not is crazy. I get tricked so often by it. Yeah, it's just a tan. Just a tan man lion. Three tornado watches today, Logan. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> About five to seven hours, Nikolai. I'm doing a bit of a longer stream because I promised I would do Call of the Wild last night and then I didn't get around to doing as much of it as I wanted. So I decided I would make today's uh, stream a bit longer to kind of make up for it. Oh my gosh, the respawns are already here. This is why I love this lake. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, gosh. I had a little, a little piece of, of, of the, uh, the skin from, uh, or not the skin, a little piece of lettuce. I was going to say the pickle skin from the sandwich, but it was the lettuce, actually. I had a little piece of lettuce go down the wrong tube, went down my windpipe. Oh, gosh. So I had to, I had to get that out of there for a second. <laughs> But yeah, as I was saying, this lake is nuts. I mean, look at this. We just hunted this side, and the lions are already respawned. And they're always like this every single time I'm here. No matter how many times I delete all of their zones, they always pop up just like this. And then do their weird loop-de-loops and stuff. There we go. That darn salad is a killer. It is. Well, to be fair, this sandwich has meat in it as well, Fundy. It's got, it's a ham, pickle, cheese, lettuce, and a mayonnaise and mustard sandwich with a toasted bread. Red Deer Tips? Um. Well, it depends on what you're looking for for tips. Like, what type of Red Deer Tips? A ham sandwich with, ob with obstacles? <laughs> no. A ham sandwich with everything to make it a good sandwich. That's what it is. Uh, poly tips are better, Nate. Poly tips are definitely better. Oh, definitely quick, she does. She does make an amazing sandwich. Not sure why that message got held. I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming that Nightbot didn't realize what you meant. Yes, she, she does make a phenomenal sandwich.
Stop making you hungry. I'm sorry, man. I I'm sorry. I I just had I just had to explain what was in it because it it's so good. Another lion. Where's the rest of them? Oh, no worries, CJO. It, it happens, man. It happens. Forty-six. Where did the other female go? Probably this way. Wait, no, this way. I, I don't know. These lions—they kind of just bounce in whatever direction they want. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll 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 shut up about my sandwich now. I promise. Are you grinding all the lakes? I mean, we just started up the lion grind, so not sure yet. I mean, most likely, there's not a lot of lakes to go to on Verhonga, so I guess naturally it would probably be best to hunt them all. Uh, no, Nikolai, it's not. However, it is uh, only 99 cents. I made it as cheap as it would let me. Memberships are essentially like a way to help support the content creators that you enjoy while also getting cool perks for doing so, like emotes. How close to 94.1k? Very close. I think we were like six off of it when I started the stream. Actually, we already hit it. It just hasn't updated. We are at 94.1. We have indeed reached 94.1. Wow, nothing up here. Why do the lion zones always move for you? It's because most of them are solo lions, so if you kill a solo out of its zone, there's no longer a lion tied to that zone, so the zone disappears. That's why lion zones move all the time, because uh, anytime you shoot a lion, the zone disappears. Which is also why you're commonly rediscovering zones every time you spot lions, because most of the time when you shoot them, that, uh, that deletes the zone. Not to mention, I, I kind of just go ham at the zones and delete all my zones anyway, because lions are great. But yeah, them being in solo zones is kind of what does it for the most part. Ooh, a five. There we go. Now, if only you were like a level five, uh, like a level five black tail or something, then, then you'd actually be something special. Anything else close? I'm not a hundred percent sure if there is. Oh, there we go. I don't think I've ever had it, Luke. I don't think I have. Where are my t where are my tents by this lake? I just have one of them right here. That is the only tent that I use here. But to be honest, I might reorganize all my tents. These are very out of date setups. So most of the tents I have on Verhonga are from like over a year ago. Yeah, James. <laughs> I 
I mean, at that point, you pretty much are, Kaluk. So, I mean, if you want to, then go for it. Uh, Matthew, thank you so much for the membership. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing good. For those just joining, the reason I'm going quiet every once in a while is because I'm eating uh, lunch and don't want to like uh, have any of that come through the microphone and also to avoid accidentally, you know, spitting food on the mic. Don't want that. So I'm just not talking uh, while I'm eating. Uh oh. I heard one. Later, CJO. The ham sandwich silence, exactly. Exactly. That'd be wild, uh, vampire. A part of Leighton or the white tail on? The left half. The left half. Left half is the only... The only part. That the white tail are on. I recommend uh, watching some of the videos I've got on the channel, Riker. They will help you out quite a bit. I have so many great one guides and just videos talking about how to get great ones. Where are you, sir? Right there. Yeah, same Huntress. Like, uh, the Medved Wolves almost seem more aggressive. I, I get attacked by them all the time. Perry, what, what are you talking about? Please, explain. I haven't been using herd management. Tell me what you mean. Last time you jumped in my chat, you said that message, and then you left immediately and didn't respond. Explain what you mean, and what makes you think that I'm still using it. I've literally, I literally did an entire live stream shooting all of the level ones on my map. I got a feeling that old Perry here 
has seen some of the uh, clips that I posted that are from like a month ago and thinking that it's from like a week ago. Because you've accused me twice, Perry, and then not said anything. Do you expect people to just look at that and be like, oh, that's a normal, that's a normal chat message? No, of course they're going to, of course they're going to think that you're trying to start something. And you can't take the, you can't play the victim card either because you obviously came in here accusing me of doing something I said I wasn't going to do. With absolutely no, like, backing on it either, just straight up saying, like, oh, you lied. You're still using herd management without even, like, giving a basis for the argument or providing any context or proof. And then you get mad and, and don't expect people to call you out on it. It's not how this works. That is not how things work around here. <laughs> what likes are best for lions? Uh, this one right here is phenomenal. Absolutely insane. This lake and then also... These are decent. Not as good as they used to be, but they're still decent. Uh, this lake right here is pretty good. I haven't been there today, but... It is a pretty good area. Ooh, we got capes. Nothing crazy, but there is some capes. Nah, it's fine, guys. Leave him alone. He 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 already stopped, so leave him alone. We're good. We already got our point across. Do you think it's worth worth checking all the small areas at the bottom for Whitetail and Revon Tuli? No, it's not, Zachary. They can't actually be at the very bottom. The Whitetail cannot be along the coastline or the lakes that are like directly above the uh coast. Those ones don't have it. Yeah, me too, Cotton. I, I don't care what people do either. The way I see it with Call of the Wild, I, I don't care what you guys do in the game. As long as you're not using cheats. That's the only thing I really care about. Yeah, I'm very against cheats in the game. But if you want to play in any other way that doesn't involve cheats, then go for it, you know? That's the way I view it. I just stopped doing herd management because I didn't want to, like, further, the, I guess, the arguing between the two sides. The people that like it and the people that don't like it. I mean, it's not bad to do it, Jay. If it's something you want to do, then do it. It's just as a content creator, I have to look at it a little bit differently. Like, I'm seeing people fighting over it, and I just don't want to further the, the fighting and the separation in the two sides of the community, the people that love it and the people that don't like it. So I've just chose not to do it. Where are the bears? Funny you should say that, Caitlin, because I've actually answered a couple questions about that earlier when you, uh, before you were in here. I'm still doing bears. I'm just gonna not stream it as much because it's honestly, it's kind of boring to stream. Shooting 15 bears in an hour just isn't entertaining content, and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. I feel like I'm not being entertaining if I'm barely seeing anything for hours. And so I've just decided to do the bears off camera and for videos. For videos and then just in my free time. And then occasionally do a stream on them if I can get them into like a consistent state. That's the big thing for me. Is I, I just don't I just don't enjoy streaming the bear grind because it, it feels like it's not moving anywhere. It always feels like I'm just walking around the map seeing nothing. Ace, it's fine. Like I said, leave him alone. We already made our point. 
There's no reason to further it anymore. Do you have your PC placed on your floor or your desk? For me, it's uh, on the floor to the left of my desk. Because I need, I need all the room I can get on my desk. So, yeah, I have the PC beside it. What kind do I use IRL? Um, I have a couple that I've took out for hunting. Sadly, never got anything with them, but I've got an AR and 223. And then I also have a uh, 270 Marlin XL7. They should add Leopard to Call the Wild. I agree, Nikolai. I agree. That is one of the species I'd really love to see them add in the game. It would be a lot of fun. Um, I've killed some small games, Savoy, but never, uh, never any big game. I've went out for deer a few times, got really close, but unfortunately just circumstances didn't allow for us to get the shot off. As I'm sure most of you have had happen many times when hunting. Sometimes it just doesn't work out and I've only been able to go out for deer a couple times and neither time ended up working out. But I've killed like, um, I, I grew up on a farm, right? So there was always like rats trying to steal the chicken's food. And so I'd sit out there with 22s and just pop the rats. That's, uh, that's pretty much the extent of the actual things I've actually been able to kill. And raccoons and stuff like that that would try to kill our chickens. Popped a couple of those as well. But that's about it. Uh, because you actually can, um, you can black, you can get cheats on console. It's just harder and not many people know how to do it, but there is actually cheaters on console as well. It's just way more difficult for it to happen. Cause you have to actually know quite a bit about like tech. Pretty much the only people that do modding on the console version of call of the wild are the people that actually know how to actually make it themselves. Essentially, if you know how to make them for console, those are the types of people that are cheating on console. It is, Perry. It is possible. 100% possible. Been confirmed by the developers, and I've seen it happen before. I've seen a few instances of people cheating on console. It's more rare because it is tougher, but it's 100% possible. Trevor, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh no, Nikolai, that's terrible, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I am sorry to hear that, my dude. A little bit, Eddie. 
Not super late. Well, it's very rare, Josh. Like I said, it's super rare. The only type of people that are really cheating on console are the people that know how to develop and make the cheats themselves. Those are the type of people that can mod on console. So it is a very rare, few and far between type of situation. Like a lot of people will probably never find a hacker on console. And a lot of the people that have seen them have only seen it happen once, maybe twice at the most. So it's very, uh, very rare. But it does happen. Just uh, way less commonly than with a, a lot of platforms. Yeah, let the moderators do their job. Stop, uh, the more you fill up the chat with stuff like that, like telling people to stop doing something, it, it just makes it harder for me to even see what's going on. It's fine. If you if there's something going on in the chat, uh, the moderators will handle it. They they know what they're doing. I don't even know if lions can be here. Can they? Oh yeah, yep, they definitely can. Those are lion zones. Oh gosh, Kaluck, yeah, it's rough. What do I think about squirrels in Call of the Wild? I think it would be amazing. I don't know if they'll do it, but I'd love for them to. Okay, the lions are not here. You know what I'll bet? I will bet that they are already at this zone, though. Um, I think that'd be cool, Luke, but I don't think it would be possible in this game. I don't think they could make it work. You had a level 3 whitetail score, 240. Oh, no. That's rough. That's a very rough troll. Yep, yeah, like I, like I've said before, I only make moderators people that I that I have as friends. Friends of mine are really the only people that are moderators on the channel, and then also some people that moderate for other content creators are also mods on my channel. So it's very limited who I allow to be moderator because it has a lot of uh, power that comes with it, being able to just ban and delete messages and all that type of stuff. So I, I don't do I don't give away moderator to anybody that I don't know. And that I haven't known for a long time. Huntress, thank you for the 21 months. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Would you like rats on Call of the Wild? I mean, it would be interesting. I think it could work. Uh, I think it could work if they do it right. Like maybe introduce like a farmland map and toss that in there. I mean, it could kind of work on Mississippi. The Cape Buffalo are along the coastline, uh, Snow. Later, Caitlin. Um, Oldie, thank you so much for becoming a member. Enjoy the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Nothing here. I guess I was wrong. They aren't here already. To be fair, though, we just reset the time, so I guess that makes sense. How come you're not getting respawns? 
You probably are, Mace, but they're probably going to different zones. Nine times out of ten when people say that they're not getting respawns, they're probably just going to different areas. Because whenever you kill an animal, they don't always respawn in the same zone where you killed them. Would I like them to add dove? Oh, definitely. That'd be awesome. Those would be pretty cool. Trevor, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Oh, yeah, Pioneer. That's the worst, man. That's when you know you're having some internet problems. So, uh, that's unfortunate, dude. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you later, man. Hope you have a good day. Um, uh, d d totally, Duck. Uh, let me just click this, click that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got live chat on, Duck. Um, I, I got it on. Yep. They should add cougars. We already have them, uh, Quick Reacts. Cougars are the same as Mountain Lion and Puma. It's all the same name for the same, or three different names for the same thing, right? We've already got the Mountain Lion. AKA the Puma, AKA the Cougar. Hey Dan, thank you for the gifted membership. Really appreciate it. And congrats to uh, the Slaying Hogs. You just got gifted a membership. Enjoy all the stuff that comes with that. They should add squirrels. Definitely Holly, 100%. Squirrels would be great. Very highly requested as well. That has definitely happened before, Speedin. There's definitely been a couple instances like that. Though, for the most part, it does prioritize people that watch you the most. So, people that are talking in chat all the time, people that watch a lot of hours of the stream, they are more likely to get the gifted subs when people give them. But, if you've... If somebody gifts a large amount of memberships, then sometimes it will just chuck them at random people that might barely even watch. But yeah, that, that does happen from time to time. Uh, because you started showing up more recently, uh, Speedin, I imagine that's probably why, because I believe I started seeing you in chat like a week or two ago, like two weeks ago. And most of the people that have been getting the gifted memberships recently are people that have been here for years. So maybe that's why. It's hard to say though. I don't I don't fully know how it works. That's just what I've seen, kinda just making a guess off of what we've seen. YouTube honestly doesn't explain how anything works on their platform. They kinda just chuck it at you and are like, here you go, have fun. Yeah, you did, EB Rex. You did. Well, like I said, I don't fully know how it works. I'm kind of curious. I wish YouTube would tell us more, but they never do. Got you, oldie. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Although, now that you got the green name as a member, it is easier for me to see your messages, so... Hopefully, I should be able to uh, read off some of them now. What is the best map for Red Deer? Tiaboroa, green boys. Just starting out on the game, any tips and pointers for me or no? I would say best tip I can give you, AV Outdoors, is uh, hunt near water. If you're hunting near water, you're going to be seeing animals that are in their drinking zones. And drinking zones are a lot more in the open and easier to find than feeding and resting zones are. Because with a feeding or a resting zone, it could be literally anywhere in the forest or out in the fields. It could be literally anywhere. But with a drink zone, you know for a fact it's going to be at the water. So what a lot of people will do is just wander around the water's edge and look for animals that are drinking. And then whenever you find an animal that's drinking, take note of what time it's drinking because every other 
animal of that species will be drinking at the same time. And so that can be like a, a great way to find lots of animals from the beginning. What DLCs should you get in Call of the Wild? Uh, the 10 DLC is really good if you're on PC. If you're on console, I believe that comes with the base game. Uh, the Tripod DLC is great. The Modern Rifles Pack is also amazing. There's a lot of good DLCs in Call of the Wild. Nothing there. Trying to figure like how late the lions are to some of their zones. Johnny got gifted one? Yes, Johnny does get gifted them quite often. Hey, T2, how's it going? Yeah, James, a few actually have, I believe. Yeah, I believe Claydra ended up getting one and so did Johnny. Possibly more people as well. Got her. Okay, she's down. <laughs> I knew we'd start getting some lions here eventually. This zone is always so consistent for me. It's random, Cordelia. It's random. Yeah, cheese, and I'm killing every single lion I see, male or female, because I, I just want some rare lions. I don't really care if I get female or male rares. The end goal is a blonde male, but I will go for whatever. I just want to get some rare lions to make some multi mounts. Oh, also, guys, I finally did it. You guys have been telling me for so long that I need to make a lodge specifically for great ones so that I stop having to remove all my other trophies from my main lodge. So I decided to do that. We got most of the uh, main, the like main trophies in my main lodge again, and then the great ones and the crazy trophies from the great one grind are in a separate lodge. So I've got a lodge dedicated to my like great ones, super rare white tail, super rare red deer. And then just like random diamonds and rares from those grinds. It's going to be like my uh, great one grinding lodge. I hope so, duck. That'd be nuts. Hey, one way. How's it going? Uh, he got hidden, Caleb. He, he kept spamming like... Telling people to follow the rules and stuff. Essentially, just like... Flooding the chat with like telling people to follow the rules and telling them what they're doing wrong and like that's... It's not, it's not his place. And after coming in here and just accusing me with no basis behind it... Very low tolerance. Had very low tolerance for any more breaking of the rules. <laughs> He is indeed gone. Oh, that's not good, Grape. I'm wondering why I won't let you. Is it possible that you're on iOS, like an iPhone or an iPad? Because the join button does not show up on those platforms. What gun am I using currently? The 300 Magnum Cormac. Oh, it's saying your card is wrong? I've heard of a few people having that issue, man. I, I don't know what causes it, though, unfortunately. But I've got um, a couple longtime members that couldn't continue being a member because it was bugging out like that. So I'm not actually sure what's going on with it. Uh, it's on your end, Jacob. It's not on my end for once. For the first time ever, it's not Crow that's lagging. Hopefully I don't jinx myself with that. <laughs> hey, Ben, how's it going? You got some chili? Nice, dude. That's awesome. Hey. 
Smoked him. I love this lake. It's just so good. The best lake in the game. Well, the best lake on Verhonga. Ooh. Is that the one we just shot? 236 to 270. That's a big boy track. That is a big boy track for sure. I don't think it's the same one though. No, it's definitely not the same one. Don't believe so at least. Yeah, definitely not the same one. Nine legendary, hopefully. I mean, it's a max weight track, so it's got a chance. That'd be pretty cool. 239. Wait, no, that was him. That was him. Okay, yeah, so the one we just picked up was that max weight track. Calling it, it's a nine, I wish. I wish it was a nine, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay, later, Duck. <laughs> Thank you for dropping in. Definitely NBS. I do know. I do know. Definitely a seven? It was, Zachy. It was definitely a seven. How you doing, man? What am I hunting for? We're hunting for lions right now, Elmo. We're trying to get a blonde male lion. It's the only rare lion I'm missing. I've got a blonde female. I've got a uh, dark brown male and female, and I've got albinos of male and female. But I, I don't have... <laughs> I don't have the light brown male. Or not light brown, ma uh, blonde. Blonde. I don't have the blonde male. So we're trying to get it. Thank you, Elmo. Hopefully we will. We will see. We shall see. Hopefully some more will be on the opposite side of the lake now. Three dollars off from resetting the time. Oh no, Landon. Hey, Crazy Call the Wild Hunter, you did not miss uh, anything yet. Just some uh, average lions going down. Uh, when you stop spamming that in my chat, Speedin. I've seen you spam that message like seven or eight times after I told you it probably wasn't going to get done. I told you yesterday that I probably wasn't going to be able to do it. Right, because sometimes it thunders right now. I think my lights are flickering. Oh no, Caleb. Hopefully you don't lose power. Uh, maybe at some point, Ace. We'll see. Kind of just have to play that type of stuff by ear, you know. Uh, Mary, I'm just going to tell you now. It, it's not a gift if you're asking somebody to give it to you. It's not really a gift. That's more just like... You're demanding that somebody gives you something. Gift is typically when you're not expecting it and somebody gives it to you, you know? Begging for gifts in chat isn't a good look. Just gonna say that. It's not a good look. People don't like that. People don't like somebody that begs for handouts. We have any lions here? There hasn't been a lion here any of the times we've gone to this lake. I'm actually curious. Should I set up a tent here? I probably should. Honestly, I need to take down some of these tents that I had set up for buffalo. I don't even hunt them that much anymore. Oh, the hidden lake. We should check that. It's going good, Riker. It's going good. What fur types are rare for raccoon? Um, any of the piebalds, and then the albino and melanistic. I believe there's blonde piebald and brown piebald, if I'm not mistaken, and gray piebald. 
So there's three different piebald variations for the raccoon. And then they've also got, like I was saying, the, uh, oh. Pretty sand just got smoked. Uh, the albino and the mela. We got magical, uh, <laughs> magical, uh, tripod stands again. Love it. The newest and latest technology. Only the finest stuff here on the, uh, lion grind. Got those levitating tripods, you know. Let's see if these lines are here yet. Oh, definitely, uh, nappy. Definitely. Flawless. Oh, gosh. Everything's getting smoked. I'm convinced that the beavers have it out for me today. They've been wiping so many of my Verhonga stuff. Hey, there's the lion. There she is. Is it just one female lion? Is that all that's here? Really? Nice, we got her going down. Wish you had a stand like that IRL? I know, right? Just put it anywhere you want, have it levitate. Would really open up new opportunities on where you can hunt. You know, just position yourself like 50 feet above a field levitating. That right there is a great way to get a nice, uh, <laughs> nice, perfect shot on a buck out in a cornfield, you know? Now that's how you hunt. Uh, we're doing good, AV. I hope you're doing good as well. How'd you get down? I mean, just press of a button, you know? It'll like, it'll like take you down, levitation style. I mean, let's be honest, this is the future. Levitating tripod stands. Yeah, Case, I remember you. Oh no, Brantley, that's the worst, dude. It's in the settings, Keys. Look in your settings. It'll be in the interface settings, I believe. Ah, uh, maybe, Ghosts. I wasn't really planning on doing a Way of the Hunter video until I can either earn enough money for the new UTV or whenever I get a rare. I've been playing it off and on, but just not like super hardcore as I'm having more fun with Call of the Wild recently. Kind of feeling like I might just wait until the next map is released for Way of the Hunter so I have a full new map to explore with a bunch of new species. Because unfortunately the, uh, the interest in Way of the Hunter is pretty low right now for a lot of people. Any tips on the great one, Whitetail Grind? Uh, what map are you wanting to do it on, Gabe? Because I don't really know anything about grinding on Revon Thule or Mississippi. But I can give tips for like Rancho and Layton because they're the two that I've grinded on a lot. What birds can get grounded? Uh, the pheasants and the quail and the ptarmigan, I believe. Pheasant, quail, ptarmigan. Mississippi bestest map? I mean, I, I beg to diff for Zaki, but you know, to each their own. You're under a tornado watch. Oh gosh, Caleb. That's not fun. Still on the black bear grind? Nice, Lane. Grinding on Rancho? 
Um, I would say for Rancho, one of the biggest tips I can give you is focus on like some of the best lakes there because Rancho's got a few lakes that are very brushy and hilly that are very tough to hunt. If you can avoid hunting those, but I guess it depends on what method you're using for grinding. One of the big things about Rancho though is Whitetail can be at pretty much every inch of water. You're doing it on Revon Thule? Got you. Okay. Sorry, I thought it said Rancho in the chat. Maybe I maybe I misread. Yeah, if you're doing it on Revon Thule, uh, the Whitetail can be at pretty much every lake except for the very bottom coast. That's like the only place they can't be. So you're going to have to search quite a bit to find them all. Ooh, put him to rest. You would be correct, Clay Drew. It's definitely not Black Bear. Uh, if it is, they've they they've definitely started to look different. I think I can just ATV over and it'll be faster. I don't really watch sports, uh, ghosts. Grape, thank you so much for becoming a member. I'm assuming that it ended up working for you. Really appreciate it. Do enjoy the stuff that comes with that. The emos, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it, man. Glad it worked for you. Glad it finally let you. You got an albino pig? Nice, Nathan. That's awesome, man. Those are rare. Those are very rare. I oh, didn't miss anything big, uh, Lanyer. Best thing we got was a couple mythicals so far. When will I do another Warzone stream? Not sure, to be honest. I would have to figure that out with, uh, Kill Clinton as... He's really the only person that I've been playing it with. And I mean, that, that was actually the first time I've played Warzone 2.0 was uh, that live stream last night. You got an albino moose? Nice. That's awesome as well. I'm going to try just repeatedly hunting this lake. I want to see how possible it is to just hunt this lake. I mean, in my beginner's series, uh, I've been hunting just this lake, pretty much. Just, uh, this one and one other lake, and it's been working out great. And honestly, I think the reason respawns are so consistent with the lions, and the reason that they don't kind of, like, bounce between lakes after you delete their zones or shoot them, I think it's because there's just not a lot of lakes on Verhonga. Verhonga has very few lakes, so... Makes it so they don't have many places they can respawn, because lions can only be at the lakes. Uh, yeah, Joey, so there's a few different ways. One of them is hunt the red deer on Tiawaroa. They're super plentiful and give over a thousand cash a piece, a lot of times upwards of 1,500. Another thing you can do is hunt lions on Verhonga like I am right now. These things give ridiculous amounts of cash as well. Typically 14 to 1700 per lion. Another option is hunt deer on Leighton Lakes. Doesn't matter if it's blacktail or whitetail. Hunt some deer on Leighton Lakes. 
and use the free ammo. Use the 243 soft points, that way you're not spending any money on ammo. And that will help you quite a bit if you're like super broke and need to get some money. So those are all really good options. I've got videos on the channel covering all of them. I recommend checking out the uh, Beginner's Guide playthrough series that I've got going as well as the um, money making guy that I put out recently talking about the 243 soft points. Recommend checking them out to get like the, uh, the full context and information of everything. Why isn't there a melanistic line in the game? Because they don't exist in real life, uh, Death the Kid. There's no such thing as a melanistic lion. There's just like photoshopped pictures on the internet, but they actually don't exist. I hear some over here. Oh, there we go. This lake is so insane. I love it. <laughs> that's a male, right? I think that's a male. I can't fully see it. Can't hit it either because it's behind the tree. More. They just don't stop coming, man. They're everywhere. <laughs> I love it. Lion hunting so good. <laughs> what is she doing? Oh my gosh. And the lions are hilarious too. Not only do you get a bunch of lion kills and lots of cash. But you also get a show. They just start dancing for you after you shoot them. Quite the deal, I'd say. <laughs> oh, definitely Pioneer. I I'm trying to get rares in general. My end goal is a blonde male, but I wouldn't mind some rare females as well, so I'm just blasting every lion. No, so many floaters. I need to just set up a tent on the other side so I can fast travel. That way I don't have to worry about them floating. Nice, Drawn. Nice. Have any tips for discovering a map? Yeah, so there's a couple things you could do. One thing that I like to do sometimes is just drive around on the ATV and Drive straight to the lookout towers, unlock the lookout tower, and then it'll show where the outposts are in the area. Another thing that you can do is just hunt as you go. That's what I do sometimes also. I'll hunt while I walk towards the lookout tower. Um, if you didn't know, uh, unlocking the lookout tower will kind of reveal the other stuff in the area, making it easier to find the outposts. But yeah, the ATVs are the quickest way to unlock the map. Easily. Gotta love the floaters. They got your burger wrong? Oh no, Drawn. All that just for them to get your burger wrong? Jeez. Sorry to hear that, dude. Sorry to hear that. But hopefully it'll still taste good. Guys, we're already at 94,150 subs. There has been about 60 new subscribers this stream alone. Y'all are insane, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Like, like I've said many times last few streams, I think with, with y'all being as amazing as you are, we're gonna hit 100k in no time. Like, we're gonna be zooming past 100k.
Yeah, hopefully it'll still be good, Drawn. 100k on your birthday in February? Maybe, good luck, maybe. You got an albino bunny? Nice, Nathan. I know, Landon. Isn't that just insane? Like, it's, it's like it was just a minute ago. Like, it's like we were just there a minute ago. Isn't that insane to think about? 94.15 and 94.14 feels like yesterday. Crazy. Wait, you did ghost? No way. That's amazing, dude. That is awesome. A super rare pink feral pig. I mean, it took me long enough just to get a diamond feral pig in general, and you've got yourself a super rare. That's just insane. That is pure insanity. All right, time to redo our tent placement. That's not how it works, AV Outdoors. Even if somebody were to try and give you one, it's random. You can't pick who you give a membership to. It, it doesn't work like that on YouTube. YouTube's 100% random. Hmm, I thought maybe I had more than one of these. I thought I could pick it up and just get the entire stack of tents, but no. Gonna have to, gonna have to do this. Okay, we do have a slot for a tent. Beautiful. I'm gonna go drop a tent in a couple different places. Uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of tents uh, speeding definitely is No, Charlie, I don't use glitches I Don't use or condone the use of glitches in the game You got two diamond moose nice Nathan You're, you you sure have a lot of trophies man What map is my favorite? Tiawaroa is my favorite, Mary. It's a fun map. Lots of very unique species. Uh, it's the best red deer map, best fallow deer map. The Sika deer are a very cool species. The the feral pigs are pretty awesome on Tiawaroa. Feral goats are pretty cool as well. It's a great map. Fantastic map, I tell you. Wonder if we will have any uh, new respawns already. That'd be pretty crazy. There's our floaters. Or at least one of them. Oh, two of them. Never mind. We're good. They are both here indeed. Okay, so we typically have lions like right about there. Which means we should be able to drop a tent like right over here. And it should actually be in a pretty good position. Wow, we have room for another tent? That's amazing. Um, I'm not gonna put down a stand yet. What time is best for lions? 12. 12 to 16. Ah, uh, you're not too late, Lofton. We've only been going for like an hour and 25 minutes. Something like that. Hey, Nathaniel, how's it going, dude? Disappointed myself for not knowing that piebald coyotes are rare. Wait, did you accidentally uh, not tax one or something? That would be very unfortunate.
All right, let's try something. We're gonna plop a tent down over here, and I'm going to attempt to just farm one lake. Because I think it could actually work out pretty well. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Lanyard. Uh, yes, Logan, you, you're definitely doing something right, if that's your odds. That's the rate at which you're getting them, something's working. There we go. What the? You're lying over there. Okay, so we'll try this little layout. Now let's main menu. How do you get a great one, Moose? You shoot Moose, and then eventually, if you're lucky, one of them will come back as a great one. That's really all there is to it. Shoot male Moose until you end up getting one to come back as a great one. That's pretty much all there is to it, like I was saying. Found a piebald whitetail that goes up to 235. That is pretty awesome, dude. That's a good one. That is a very good one. Nice, Lane. Any tips on how to get piebald whitetails? So, rares are completely random. The only way that you can get a piebald whitetail is by shooting whitetail until one respawns as a piebald. Your other option would be just joining multiplayer servers and hoping that somebody has a piebald whitetail on their map. That is really the only ways that you can try and get yourself uh, a piebald whitetail. Nice, Landon, that's awesome. Found a level 10 whitetail. That looks that looks like a big three. I hate you, Zaki. I hate you, man. You just you just rubbing it in my face that you got yourself a typical rack. I see how it is. I see how it is. You know what's crazy? Two people have posted typical racks since I said I wanted to get one. <laughs> I've seen like two or three of them show up in my discord And one guy's even got two of them how lucky can you be two typical rack great one whitetail and I can't even get one <laughs> oh, I so badly want to get one Hard to say if that'll happen though You are one of them indeed uh, Zaki you are indeed, sir. There's one of them. Might as well finish him off. What are the best lakes for lions? This one's insane right here. This one's also pretty good. So is, I believe this one, it's not bad. What should you name her you're thinking, Kevin? Uh, perfect. Perfect sounds great to me. Good old, good old Kevin the Highball doe. What is max score for a red deer? There's not a true, true max score because her, her, um, what's it called? True Rex is a very randomized system. So there is, there is like an upper limit, let's say. Like there is a certain level where nobody's really got one bigger, but it doesn't mean that they couldn't get bigger. Right now, the biggest red deer diamond anybody's ever killed was 272. 272 is the highest one 
I've ever seen anybody kill. No, Legend, we don't here. We do not use mods on the channel. Very against them, in fact. Alright, let's see if we can plop a tent down there. Later, Holly. How many drop time whitetail do I have? Currently three of them quick. Currently three. You were just playing on this map? Nice, Kelly. It's a good map. For Honga is definitely one of my uh, favorite maps. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's our day. It would be. Non-symmetrical -symmetri antlers are going to be, like, more uncommon or rare than symmetrical ones in Call of the Wild. You got a super rare Gemsbok? That's nuts, dude. What is my Discord? The Discord will be in the description of the stream. There will be a link to it right there. So where are the lions going to be located on this lake? I actually don't know where they are now. I think I've seen them like right over here when I was hunting on the beginner series account, but I don't know where else they can be. I think males are closer. Hard to say though. Right now they're being rude and don't want to show up anyway. Two sixty. Ah. Yeah, let's plop a tent like right up here. Just so I can quickly uh, spawn here and check to see if there's any in their zone. Wait, did I just hear one? I might have heard one. Guess we'll reset the time. Let's go to 13. Is there a piebald pronghorn or albino or do they not exist? There is. There is piebald, albino, and also leucistic. Oh, I totally heard one back here. There's totally a male that's hiding. Crazy. Yeah, no problem, Zachary. Later, my dude. Hope you're doing good. Hope you have a good day. No, Gavin, there's no way I could put another diamond counter on screen. I just have it set up for great one species. The only counters we have up there are the ones that are uh, species that have a great one. Eventually, I'll probably have to condense it even more when they release more great ones. Eventually, I'll probably do like a total kill count, total diamonds, and total great ones, and just combine all species in that count so that it takes up less space on the screen because it is kind of cluttered. Uh, that's the one thing I don't like about it is it's very cluttered looking. So eventually, I'll probably try to condense it. In fact, I might end up doing that sooner than later because I could totally just put it up on the very top of the screen and have like total diamonds for the great one grinds actually just total diamonds in general total diamonds total great ones um, total kill count Especially since the codex is never accurate anymore because of old bugs and 
Having some animals where you don't claim them, they don't count as a kill even though they technically respawn, so it's the same as if you killed them and claimed them. So I think it would be nice to just get a total kill count or as close as I can get and have it on screen. That way I can just, instead of having to go through and explain that the codex is not accurate, I can just have it on the top of the screen with as close of the kill count as we can possibly get to what we have. Because I can guarantee out of my like 20,000 red deer and 26,000 whitetail, there's got to be like two or three that I didn't claim on every single run and I've done so many runs that there's got to be thousands that we didn't claim just because they were hit poorly. Out of the like 46,000 total kills on red deer and whitetail, there's got to be at least six or seven thousand I didn't pick up. Because that would be like what? Like 10% maybe? What would be 10? No, that'd be a little more than 10%. That'd be like 15%. So yeah, I think I'll just redo the entire stream overlay to make it less uh, convoluted, less cluttery. And still give like all the info that we like to have at our fingertips. Yeah, Timothy, true. I've thought about that before, but I, I just couldn't bring myself to restart my account. I don't want to have to unlock all the maps again, earn money for all the tripods and tents again, like... No thanks. Because then if a new map comes out, I gotta earn all the cash to buy all the tents and stuff and can't set up the map the way that I'd like for content. So for me, it really doesn't make too much sense to restart my account, sadly. Even though you keep all the trophies, I, I just don't want to have to go through all the work to get everything back to where it was. Since they release maps like every six months, there's no way I'd be able to get everything back up before the next map, which should be in June. Nice, Kelly. What animal do I want added the most? This lion. Um, Pierre Davis deer. Pierre Davis deer is definitely the animal I want added the most. It would be such a cool addition to the game. It would be a very unique species. It would be a very cool looking species. A fun species to hunt. That lion decided he wanted to say hi. Your beginner series is your chance, eh? Yeah, pretty much, Timothy. Like, my beginner series is kind of like my way of uh, starting over and experiencing it and telling everybody, like, uh, like helping everybody how uh, with leveling up and stuff like that. That was a terrible sentence. I can't even speak English today. But you get what I'm saying. That is my way to be able to teach people about the game while also having the fun of starting over without actually restarting my main account. Oh yeah, Zacky. I don't know, man. When it comes to stuff like Mississippi, I just don't like it because of the gators. And all the brush. The brush and the gators make Mississippi tough to hunt. But I mean, some people enjoy tough hunts. I know a few people that play Hirschfelden because it's a tough map. And that's like their sole purpose for uh, playing it. Yeah, I can see that, Ryan. I can understand that. But I mean, they gotta make their money somehow to develop the game further, I guess, so... That's how they do it through DLC. Nothing here. Where can we go now? We haven't been here in a little bit.
Oh, gotcha, Zaki. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. I guess it's all about where you're hunting, right? And learning the map. Maybe I just haven't learned Mississippi good enough for Whitetail. Though I did a brief grind. The deer never came back to the same place as I shot them. That's why I stopped doing uh, Mississippi. I, I just had very inconsistent zones. Could have just been luck of the draw. I might have just got bad placed zones. Uh, no, Delante, you did not miss anything too crazy. Just uh, a few mythical lions and a bunch of, like, average size lions going down. Nothing too, too crazy. Nothing here. To be fair, though, I think we did just reset the time, so... What is the best all-around rifle? There really isn't a best all-around rifle, David, because every rifle covers a different set of species, classes. It's so, like, I could say that the AR-308 is the best gun, but you still can't shoot something like a lion or a Cape Buffalo with it because it's not a high enough class. So you wouldn't end up getting the full metal score. I could say the 300 is the best because it's one of the more powerful ones, but again, you can't shoot something like a black tail deer with it and get full score, so... There's not really a best all-around rifle. There's certain rifles that are really good for certain species. Like the 300 is the best class 7 to 9 rifle. The 308 AR is the best for classes like 4 to 6. And then the 243 is the best small game rifle. 22 is the best like extra small game rifle. Nothing at this lake either. It takes a little bit for the lions to get to their zones at other lakes, I've noticed. Like, the one that we have been hunting mainly this stream, it's the most consistent one. Laughs in drilling rifle? I mean, yeah, I guess technically the drilling rifle could be the best all-around gun because it can take every single species. To be honest, I think they need to do like a 9.3 bolt action. That'd be a sick rifle, man. 9.3 bolt action would actually be awesome. I'd love that. What would you guys think of a 9.3 bolt action? I think that'd be really cool. It would essentially shoot the same cartridge as the drilling rifle, but be more than just one shot, and I think that'd be really cool. To be honest, we need bolt actions of a lot of the single shots. When will you know your great ones on the map? You won't know until you spot it, Zach. There's no way to know without spotting it. Once you see your great one, that's when you know he's on the map. There's not really any indicator other than actually spotting him. Which is why it's good to keep track of the zones you're hunting. Always be checking them to make sure that you're not missing him. That's why I only hunt like eight zones, so I know if one spawns, it's probably going to spawn in the zones I hunt. Alright, so we're going to have the tent right here. They should add a tiger. Tiger would be pretty sick, but unfortunately I don't think they can. I believe there's some, like, uh, hunting regulations in place against hunting tigers. The only situation where you're allowed to hunt tigers is if they are actually harming a village or something like that. Then they're allowed to be taken down. But they have to actually be, like, killing people. That's when you can hunt tigers. I believe if they're killing livestock, that also makes it so that you can kill them. But yeah, it's the only situations where tiger hunting is legal. And that's like a very limited, like, situational thing. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. I don't even know if we got him. 
Well, let's move this tent a little bit. I don't like the positioning. I feel like it's too far away from those zones and too close to that one. There. That's good enough. What animal do I want to hunt in real life? Red deer, man. I want to hunt a red deer so bad. Is a black feral goat rare or no? Yes, it is rare. That is a rare. What gun am I using for the lions? I'm using the 300 Magnum. It's a part of the Yukon Valley DLC. Am I using a tripod? No, Game Slayer. Uh, this lake is so consistent, you really don't need a tripod. That's the thing about lions and also black bear as well. You don't actually need to use tripods really because they never come back to the same zone the next run usually or they sometimes can but it's it's not something where you have to use the stands because they're in solos there's never a duo or a trio of lions or bears they're all solos which means once you kill it that zone is going to disappear anyway, unless another lion was using it. But still, that respawn's not going to come back to the same spot every time. So, you can just kind of blast away at them. Another thing that's interesting is... With specific lakes, because the lions can only be in the lakes on Verhonga, and there's not a ton of lakes, they're pretty consistent. They almost always come back to the same places. So even if I'm just like filling it with hunting pressure, good chance I'll still get some of them back here. Let's go check some of the other areas while we wait for them to arrive though, since we just restarted. Ooh, actually I want to try something. Well, it's expensive because it's really good, RJ. There's a reason the 300 Magnum is 75,000. It is such a good gun. Any speculation on what the next map will be? I'm hoping it'll be Africa 2.0. That's what I'm really hoping for, but knowing what they've done previously, it's probably, probably going to be something else. My guess would be something in Europe. Because I feel like we don't have a ton of European maps. And it would make sense that they would want to add another one at some point. We've got so many North America maps that... I couldn't see them doing another one, though. <laughs> I guess they've tricked us in the past where we thought they couldn't possibly do another NA map, and then they did. Reed, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all of the stuff that comes with that. The emotes, the... Wait, that's for, that's for memberships. Sorry, Crow's not paying attention fully at the moment. <laughs> oh, gosh, what am I doing, guys? What am I doing? The lions are getting to my brain already. You remember me? I watch all your streams. I do read. I do remember you indeed. Thank you so much for the super chat once again. Uh, no. 270 should be max weight uh, creative title. I believe 270 is max weight. Or is it 290? I think it's 270. I believe 270 is max for lions. Uh, yes, Jacob, how, how could I forget you? You just asked if I remembered you earlier today. I mean, it's not like I'm going to completely forget somebody that's been talking in chat, you know? Most of the time, I recognize the names. Same for Moose, is it not? No, it, it's not the same for Moose at all, Kelly. Moose don't have restrictions where they have to be, like, terrorizing people to be hunted. That I'm pretty sure that's just stuff like tigers. Uh, 
Uh, yes, Lane. Grinding is possible in Way of the Hunter, but it's done differently. So in Way of the Hunter, what you do is you shoot all of the bad genetics animals to raise the average genetics of your map, and then eventually you'll be getting a lot more five stars. It's just a matter of like shooting all the bad genetics animals and leaving the good genetics animals. It's essentially herd management, but in a way that's actually intended in the game. Like with uh, with Way of the Hunter, that's a built-in feature that they extensively talk about in their uh, in their like little in-game guide. Or yeah, in uh, in Way of the Hunter, you can actually like weed out all the bad genetics to make your map produce more giants. It's pretty sick the way Way of the Hunter has done it. I just wish it was a little bit more difficult to get high genetics bucks that make five star because pretty much any time I play Way of the Hunter, as long as I don't shoot the four stars I find and I just keep checking up on them. At least one or two of them is going to make five stars. And I wish it was a little bit more difficult to get the genetics that were good enough to make five star. I think that's honestly what kind of holds the game back in terms of five stars being rare. They're just too easy to get because it's easy to get high genetics if you just kind of leave them. Um, I'd say if you're interested in it, then get it, Benny. It's a good game for sure. You know, I don't like this tent placement. We're going to move this again. I got a better idea. Got a better idea on where we could place this. Uh, Reed, thank you for the super chat once again. I'll see you later, my dude. Will you ever get a great one, Black Bear? Hopefully, Andrew. We're going to keep going for it. Just kind of off and on. When do I do live streams? I stream five days a week at uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The only days I don't stream are Wednesday and Saturday, but right now, since we're pushing to 100k subs, I'm streaming those days as well. Which, speaking of that, let's uh, see how close we are to 94.2. 20 subs away from 94.2. That is insane, guys. Y'all are just going crazy. Just going crazy with the subs. Holy. Yeah, that's a lion. That is a Leon zone. Oh, ooh. That's a max weight estimate zone there. Or track. Not zone. <laughs> yeah, th this zone is max weight estimate. Wow. A max weight estimate lion zone. Incredible. <laughs> oh, man. Curious how we're going to see this guy because I keep having my tents way too close. Man, I'm really going to have to figure out the layout. Yeah, we'll plop this here. Actually, maybe further up even. What great one do I think they should add? I'd like to see a lion great one and a cape buffalo and a black tail deer and a mule deer. There's a lot of them I'd like to see, to be honest. Just give us a great one of every species. But right now, I'm kind of really feeling like a, like a lion great one. The more I think about it, the more I just think it'd be so cool. And that's thanks to y'all. I saw so many of you guys mentioning a lion great one, and I had never really thought too much about a lion great one, and now, now I really want one. Now I'd love to see it. Let's grab this tent. Um, it's the little like dollar sign icon below the chat box, uh, Nikolai. It'll it'll be called a super chat. Super chats are basically a donation, and then you can also put like a chat message with it. So that's how that works on YouTube. Mule deer would be sick. It would game slayer. It'd be so cool. There's the female. Where's the male? Where is that male lion? It's got to be right next to her. They were using practically the same zone.
Let's keep moving to the right. We're bound to spot it eventually. Actually, maybe if I shoot her, he'll pop out. Hey! Uh, oh! Yes, it's level nine! Oh my gosh, let's go! Hey! We got a level nine, guys! Let's go! We got a level nine! I'm actually really excited about this. I don't have very many level nine lions that I've killed. I've only killed like three. Not counting the one on the beginner series. Uh, let's get a clear shot. I want to get a good shot on it, though. He'll start moving soon. Um, let's just prone or not prone. Let's crouch down. We dropped him. Let's go. Level nine lion. Oh, it feels good. It feels good to get a level nine lion on the ground. It's floating. No, it's floating. Well, we're going to have to wait a while for it to come over here. That was like, what, three or four runs through this lake to get a level nine? Not bad. I'll take it. Calling it 50.12? Well, 50 is max score for them, so no. I don't I don't think uh <laughs> I don't think it'll score 50.12 or 50.55. Uh max score is 50 for them. You're calling it max score faded? We'll see. We'll see. Think there should be a honey badger? Uh honey badgers could be cool. I'm not really too familiar with how much they're hunted in real life, though. It could be a troll, Jeremy. You never know. It definitely could be. I've been trolled by a few of them, so... I think I've been trolled twice and then had two diamonds. Hey, Rodrigo, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Come on, don't troll us. It's a diamond! 49.54. Wow, that's my biggest diamond lion ever. That is my biggest ever diamond lion. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That is so cool, guys. That is so cool. Uh, Trevor, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Gotta go, but nice level nine. Have a good night. Thank you, dude. And have a good night to you as well, man. Beautiful. And we got a nice little hard shot in there, too. About as good of a shot as we could have asked for. That's awesome. That is an awesome uh, trophy to get. For our first uh, trophy of the lion grind. Oh, we got a two over there. All right, well, we'll probably blast her next. That's super awesome, though. It looks like just one of them over there. Hey, Porter, you just missed a diamond lion. We just finished claiming it. How rare are the rare variations of Whitetail? Uh, they're as rare as any of the other rares in the game. I, nobody knows the actual odds, man. And typically, you see a rare whitetail every, like, three to four hundred kills. Sometimes sooner, sometimes takes longer. A lot of randomness involved, but... You can expect to see one on average every few hundred kills. I heard another lion back there. I don't know if that was just an audio bug. Or if it actually was back there. Okay, she's dead. You know, it's crazy that we can almost just grind this lake. I mean, look at all that hunting pressure. <laughs> We've barely left this lake the whole stream. Female albino lion next lake, I'm calling it. 
We shall see. What is max weight for whitetail? Uh, max weight for whitetail is uh, 100 kgs and floater. Okay, lovely. Love the floaters. My favorite thing in Call of the Wild, actually. I'm an avid uh, floater aficionado. Love them. Male level 6 albino calling it next run. Maybe Pioneer. I hope you're right. Solo female. Is that the only one? To be honest, I think that is the only one we have here. That one? No, no, definitely not one. Going to guess a seven dark brown next run. I wouldn't mind that. I don't have a good dark brown lion. I just have a small one. Uh, that doesn't happen, Game Slayer. Females do not respawn as males. Males don't respawn as females. However, they can swap zones. Think of it this way. You shoot like seven males and three females. Where they'll end up that next run can be mixed. Like, maybe a couple of the males will return to the zones where the females were, and vice versa. That's what can happen. They sometimes just switch zones, and I, di I didn't realize that we didn't kill that. I thought we killed it, but it's still alive. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Guess we're not going to worry about that. Uh, where should we go? We haven't seen any of the lions here. There's typically a couple here. Hey, Candace, how's it going? 537 kills into your red deer grind. Have shot five piebald red deer. That's nuts. Five piebald red deer and 500 kills. That is, that's some pretty good luck right there. That is pretty good. Definitely better than my odds have been for that. What is the drinking time for lions? 12 to 16. 12 to 16 is the drinking time. Hey, we got some widgeons. They're everywhere. Honestly, Verhonga is such a good widgeon map. I had so much fun widgeon hunting when I did that video. This map is just absolutely loaded with widgeons. It, it's better than Revon Tuli for the widgeons. Easily. Look at all of them. We might have to do a teal hunting stream, or not teal, a widgeon hunting stream one of these days. Definitely think that could be a lot of fun. Boom, little tan. Yeah, we're gonna change the placement of this tent. I really don't like it being there anymore. It'd be cool for a 10 fabled everything. Oh yeah, I'd love it for all the species to have a great one at some point. Hard to say if or when that'll happen, but it'd be nice if the majority of them could have a great one. That would give people so many options to find a great one. Like no matter what you're wanting to hunt, you would have the chance of getting a great one and that would be really cool. Like, I feel like a, a portion of the community that primarily just Great One grinds, and I'm in that portion of the community, right? I do a lot of Great One grinding because uh, I have a lot of fun with it, and it provides, like, a a feeling of accomplishment unlike other any other grind in the game. And it's the, it's the thing that gets you hooked, for me at least. So if every species had the possibility of a Great One, 
or at least the majority of them. I think you'd see a lot of people hunting more species than you currently see. Right now, there's a lot of people hunting whitetail, moose, and uh, red deer as well. Not as many hunting black bear because they're pretty difficult, but you don't see as many people hunting stuff like the quail. Like Kill Clinton is right now. He's going for the quail. But I bet if, a, if the quail had a great one, people would be hunting them more. Same with like something like the blacktail deer. Blacktail deer are very underappreciated. Part of that has to do with the fact that a lot of the antlers don't look like real blacktail. But I imagine if they had a great one and it looked good, you'd see tons of people hunting blacktail. I think it would be really cool if eventually we get to a point in Call of the Wild where the majority of the species have a great one or something rare to search for, even if it's just like a, the non-typicals feature or something like that. Would love to see them add non-typicals at some point as well. Because right now the only non-typical we really have is like the, uh, the great one moose and the great one whitetail, but those aren't like an actual non-typical feature. That's the great one, right? So a little bit different. Ten Fabled Goose. Oh yeah, Jacob. That's what we need. The Ten Fabled Moosey Goosey. Would that be hilarious, Deadfall? Crocodile in an Africa 2.0 map? That'd be so sick, Pioneer. I would love that. Crocs would be just so nice. Even on Verhonga, Crocs would be cool. Like, I think Crocs could be great no matter whether it's with Verhonga or Africa 2.0 if they ever do that. What happened to the angler? A lot of people are just waiting for stuff to get changed in the game, Aiden. Right now, there's a, a lot of issues with, like, the fish behavior not being super... Realistic, it's very predictable for the most part. It's like once you find a lure that works for a species, you can catch pretty much infinite amounts of that species. And once you find a spot that's really good for them, it doesn't ever like deplete or dry up. It'll always be good. So there's just some little things like that that have made people really not pay too much attention to the angler until they kind of fine tune a lot of things. Yeah, maybe, Game Slayer. We might do a great one grind on Rev eventually. Can lions be here, guys? I don't actually know if they can. Can lions be at this lake? I feel like they can't. But I could be wrong. Yeah, a, a fabled gray wolf would be amazing. They can't? Okay. Then I will not worry about checking that area. Seven thousand J Warner, that's that's wild. That's a long grind, man. Nothing at the Hidden Lake. Okay, Buffalo up there, though. I mean, it's close to 16. Maybe they're just not here. Is Steam down? Not sure, Gruntly. Not sure, man. I haven't checked it. I, I can do a quick double check for you. Uh, yes, it is. Steam, Steam is down indeed. Guessing it just went down. Did why? Okay, I already read that. Like, looks good for Widgeon, though? Yeah, possibly. I'm gonna be streaming for a while, uh, Unlimited Outdoors. Most likely gonna be streaming for another, like... I would say probably three to four hours, most likely.
Uh, just not enough replayable content at the moment, Arlen. That, that's really all it comes down to. Most of the people that were super into Way of the Hunter have played out most of the content they have in the game and are just waiting for, like, a new map. They've started adding rares into the game, which is a good start, but it's not enough to bring most people back to the game. I think the majority of people are just waiting for something significant to come, like a, a big map update, right? Like a brand new map with a bunch of new animals to go for. I think that's what a lot of people are waiting for with Way of the Hunter. That's kind of the boat that I'm in as well. I jumped on and got a few of the rares, and uh, now I'm just kind of waiting for the new map to come out. Because we should get a new map soon. Should not be too far away. Alright guys, I think it's time to swap to Whitetail. Yeah, definitely Arlen, definitely. I think when it comes to Way of the Hunter, once they finish adding rares to all the species in the game, and they get another map or two out, the game's gonna skyrocket in popularity. I I'm calling it right now. It'll be more popular once they've had time to release more updates. But obviously the game's super early in development, so they've got plenty of time to do stuff like that. And I bet once they release some more content, there's gonna be a lot of people that will buy the game and start playing it. All right. The first white tail of the day. Already done it, Nick. You missed it. In fact, you missed it last night. We uh we did a little bit of uh like brief face cam last night. Not in the way you would expect, though. I actually, uh, my cats were playing on the bed, so I, I turned the camera on so everybody could watch the cats play. And then I, I flashed the camera to my face a couple times because people were wanting, wanting me to do so. So if you watch, uh, if you go back and watch last night's stream, you'll see me a little bit. Nice, we got three down that time. Hey Fuzzy, how's it going? Does fast traveling to tense alert animals? Only if you can see them. Like if they're within render and then you fast travel, they'll spook. But if they're not rendered in, then fast traveling to them will not spook them. It's like for example, I just fast traveled. If there's a herd right here, they won't be spooked. And yes, there is. There's a herd right here. Hey, Blake Strauss, how's it going, dude? Oh yeah, I've done tons of face reveals, Carter. I've done a face reveal video. I've done at least 20 live streams with the face cam and at least 10 videos with the face cam. So there's no lack of the scarecrow face on the internet, that's for sure. What's easier, controller or keyboard and mouse? Definitely keyboard and mouse, Ryan, but at the end of the day, it comes down to what you're comfortable with. People that are really good with controller could definitely be better than people on keyboard and mouse and vice versa. I guess it's all about just getting good with it, right? But in general, it is easier to be precise on keyboard and mouse. I think that's the, the big upside is just precision. Hey, Colin, it's been really good. We got a diamond lion earlier. Now we're smoking some whitetail. I don't really plan on getting an Xbox, Nick. I've already got my PC and I've got a Nintendo Switch. I don't really feel the need to get an Xbox or a PlayStation. Especially since I'd never really play on it. Besides like maybe making a video here and there. So I, I just don't have a reason to get it. Cause I mean, they're not cheap, you know? And that's, if I were to buy like an Xbox or something, that's money I could put into making my PC better or something I could put into buying stuff to make the stream better. 
So I, I just don't really have any interest in buying a new console. How do you get albinos? You get albinos by shooting animals until it respawns as an albino. So like for whitetail, we are shooting a ton of whitetail, trying to grind for a great one, right? Eventually, just from shooting lots of whitetail, we'll probably get an albino to spawn. We've had a decent bit of albinos on the grind. I have no idea what that means, Nick. Yeah, Steam is currently down, Artemis. Steam is currently uh, down. Unfortunately. Oh, there's a three. It's been like what? 120 or 130 kills since our last three? Where'd he go? There he is. There we go. Look at that tank of a buck. I uh, died, I think, but not the greatest shot. Think he's gonna troll? It's possible that rat can troll, but it's not common. I don't know. We'll see. How's it going, little buddy? You're looking good. 258. That's a small one, but that is a diamond whitetail. That is a diamond whitetail. Let me see how many diamonds we've had as of recent. Because I'm pretty sure we went on a pretty dry streak for a bit. Okay, so the last 280 kills, we had two diamonds. So yeah, this is this is about in line. It's been about 100 kills. We've, we've been averaging a whitetail diamond every 100 kills. I know, Faded. Just gotta love it. <laughs> But there we go, first diamond of the day. For the white tail at least, we got that diamond lion as well. Which was awesome. Just went to the lake you told me to like 30 minutes ago, found a level 7 albino. Nice, Joey, that's awesome. He's the evil one, he is, that is the evil white tail. We, we gotta find another diamond now, we, we can't have that counter like that. Eh, it's just no bueno. Uh, yeah, Hunter, I could definitely do more streams with Kill Clinton. We actually stream quite a bit together. So you will definitely see more streams with him in the future. Hey, now, go down. How many shots are you going to take there? Who cares about KC? We need bro, bro. How about both of them landed? How about both of them? I think that's the best, you know? Both of them in one stream. That always makes it interesting. Uh, to be honest, it hasn't really felt too much different pre-fan, except for we're just getting less diamonds. It's basically the same. I mean, there's less worry about shooting the wrong deer, I guess. But it hasn't changed the way I grind too much. I'm still killing the same amount of deer. We're just not getting as many diamonds as we were because we're not using herd management, you know? That's about the only thing that changed drastically, though, is just less diamonds. So far, it's looking like our great one luck hasn't changed. We got our last great one in 1,280 kills without it.
I would call in, but they're not up here at the moment. Holy deer. That's a lot of deer. No KC, no crow, just Brobra. Wow, you want a just Brobra stream? Okay, these... Where's the closest together ones? I mean, they were, but this guy just booked it past them. He'll die. Um, I really don't have too much time to be doing stuff like that, Nightmare. I am... Pretty busy, as you can imagine. I stream like five to seven hours on most days, as well as having to edit videos and make thumbnails and record videos and uh, take care of my daughter. Like, I don't really have time to just be like playing and doing stuff with everybody, right? Because if I were to if I were to do something with you, I'm gonna have other people asking me to do stuff with him, and unfortunately, I just don't have the time to do that. No nightmare. We we don't do uh, we don't do shout outs just because people ask for a shout out. That's not how it works. You don't get shout outs by asking for them. I can tell you that. The way you grow a channel is by doing your research, learning how to get your videos out to people. By doing that research, and then making the content that people want to watch and stick around for. That's the only way you can be successful as a YouTuber. You can't rely on other people. That's not how it works. That's not how you create a, su a successful channel. Uh, members can do that as well, Cable Jones. If you're a member, you can do the, uh, the command for the rules. Have you ever had a level 2 diamond whitetail? Oh yeah, plenty of them empty. They're actually uh, relatively common. I'd say I see diamond level 2s about as much as I see diamond level 3s. Can you have some great one air? I, I got you, man. I'll, uh, I will harvest the air that the great one was breathing. And there you go. Great one air. I'll just, I'll, I'll get a jar and like sprint up to a great one while he's alive and just like, you know, close the jar in front of his nose and then sell it to you as a great one air. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what you wanted, right? Got him. I mean, I wasn't going to say anything, Gruntly, but, you know, maybe. Whichever one, uh, whichever one's easy. To be fair, though, that would actually probably be easier because once you, when you kill a deer, doesn't it, like, slowly expel gases and stuff? The longer it's sitting, the longer you don't, like, uh, field dress it, right? and get it all butchered up doesn't it like slowly build up pressure so i mean I, I guess technically that could be the air that could be the great one air not exactly the the best way to do it but i think that's a thing gosh i was hoping that guy would give me a shot but there we go he gave me a shot I just had to ask nicely for it. Oh, really, Gruntly? Okay, yeah, that, that, that definitely is in line with what I, with what I was asking, I guess. <laughs> guess that, uh, answers that question. 
Because I just remember seeing like a deer that had been hit on the side of the road and it was like super bloated after being there for a day. And I remembered either my mom or dad, I can't remember who, mentioning that that's why is because it, they fill up with gases that are apparently uh, quite toxic to breathe. Don't want to be doing that. When you kill a buck, can it spawn into a different need zone? Yes, it can, Carter. It can. Maybe one of these days, Nick. It, it's kind of hard to do... It's kind of hard to put together collaborations with multiple people. Uh, that's a guaranteed... That's, that's a guaranteed gold. Level 3 rack. On a level 2. Well, that's sad. Feels bad, man. Well, that's what I'm saying, Nick. I don't think that's going to be possible. Because uh, not only is it hard to get a time where four content creators can make a stream together, but it's also an issue of, like, talking over each other all the time when there's that many people. And also just... You know, everybody's got different schedules. Some people don't like streaming with other people. Um, some people only like to do like one-on-one -on -one collaboration. So it, it's just really hard to work out stuff like that. A lot of different uh, things that have to fall into line for it to work. Yeah, 248. Would you have to go to every lake for a great one grind? Uh, you don't have to. I don't go to every lake. I just go to the most consistent areas. I go to the zones that I know are going to have consistent respawns. Got diamonds two back to back days. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is super awesome, man. How many have we killed since that diamond? One, two. Okay, so this is a this is a total of twenty right here. We've killed fifteen. This will be sixteen already since our diamond. Gosh, like even after stopping herd management, right? Like I still have felt like the diamonds are popping up too quick. And then I look at the kill counts and I'm like, no, it's been about every one hundred. I guess I'm just killing them so quickly that it feels like it's happening too fast. Like, I never realized how quickly we were actually killing them. Like, I see that it's a hundred an hour, but you really don't, you really don't realize how insane that is until, like, the diamonds start popping up and then you look at the kill count and it's like, no, that's, that's right, it just feels fast. Because we've had three diamonds in the last, like, 320 kills. And it, it felt like they were popping up way quicker than that. Got him. Good likes for Whitetail. Uh, the river on the left side of the map is the best in, in terms of just the sheer amount of zones. But everybody's map is going to differ a little bit. Nobody's map is the same. Like, for me, this is an insane lake down here, but then there's other people that don't have anything there. Thank you, Snake. I appreciate that, dude. At that lake, you have one zone? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 
it, it's a little bit different for everybody, which is why it's really hard to give like a best of the best zone, right? It's hard to be like, this is the best place for Whitetail, because there's a lot of places that are going to be different for people. So we only have one buck back here from what I can tell. Yeah, the rest are does, so let's get that and then anything. Oh wow, that zone's not here yet. I was hoping I could pop one of those. Guys, we just hit 94,200 subs. Thank you all so much for that. And uh, if you guys are new to the stream and you're still watching at this point and are enjoying, consider subscribing as it does help me out quite a bit. I do this as a uh, full-time job and really do appreciate each and every one of you that supports the channel. I'm going to sneak, uh, sneak up on Mountain Lion. Gosh, I can't speak. I'm going to restart that land. And <laughs> How can I sneak up on Mountain Lion and Bighorn? Um, Mountain Lion, you really don't need to sneak up because they kind of bug out and just start running back and forth. Wait, wait, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get close enough to use a bow or something like that? I guess in that situation, you would need to sneak up. He's not going down. Oh, man. Oh, crossbow. Yeah. Um. I mean, I I don't know what to tell you for that, Landon. I, I guess just prone? I usually crouch until I'm about 80 away, and then I prone the rest of the way. You can easily take the 50 meter shot with the crossbow. Sometimes you can even take up to 90 meters and have it be good, because each of those dots, whenever you're 0 to 50 meters, each of the dots in the scope are going to be an increment of 20, so it'll be 50, 70, and 90. So you can actually take very long shots with the crossbow and still be pretty accurate. I think we're probably going to need to main menu. Yeah, because we're back at the uh, beginning. Thank you, Nick. Is Way of the Hunter any good? If you like a slower paced, more realistic hunting game that still has some of the similarities to Call of the Wild like need zones, then yeah, I'd, I'd say it's a good option. It's a fun game. I played it for a few hundred hours before I was able to play the majority of the content in it. And they're still updating it, so there's going to be more and more content to come. And you can look at it this way. You can get it, right? Play it for a couple hours, and if you don't like it, then you can refund it. Because I believe with Steam, at least, as long as you played it less than two hours, you can get a full refund of your money. So you can play it for a little bit, see how you like it, and if you don't like it, refund it. But uh, I do recommend it. It's a fun game. Nice, Danny. That's a big one. That's a very nice Mela. Uh, yeah, ILA, you definitely could grind for the great one as a beginner. It's just probably going to be a bit of a slower grind because you'll still have to learn a lot of the... A lot of the drink zones for the white tail, you'll have to learn, like, the ways to make the grind more consistent and reliable. There's Lucky. Good old Lucky. That can't be all of them. There's got to be more deer at this zone in front of us. And hey, that's what I'm saying, Colin. What's going on there, you know? Alright, well, let's fast travel over here and check the opposite side. That is insane, Bubba. 15 kills. My gosh. Some people are ridiculously lucky. Some people are just so lucky. It's 
Smoked him. I'm uh, not sure, Yamarama. Uh, the last couple years they released one in February, so it's possible that we'll get one then, but it's hard to say. They might do something different like a, uh, bloodhound or not a bloodhound, but I mean a dog other than the bloodhound. They might do a dog. They could do a lodge. They could do something different, like maybe a trail cam DLC. We don't really know. All we know is we'll probably get an update in February. That's such a weird looking too. I kind of like him. He's a strange one. Uh, we got it a few days ago, Columbia. Uh, two days ago to be exact, I believe. Uh, yes, the tents are part of a DLC nightmare. If you don't have the option to purchase tents, you probably don't own the DLC. Um, if you're on console, it should come with the game, but if you're on PC, then you will have to uh, purchase the tent DLC. Missing the easy shots. Hey Chase, how's it going? Yeah, we gotta find ourselves another one, you know. We gotta find ourselves another one to get to get the number to go down or go up. I mean, to go away. Oh, look at that little feller. That's adorable. Do I think Africa 2.0 would be a cool map? Oh, definitely, man. It'd be great. Uh, yeah, Blaze. Typically in February, Call of the Wild gets an update. So we're hoping that that'll be the, the same case this year. Because the last, like, two or three Februarys, we've got a weapon pack. So we're hoping that the trend will continue and that we will get another big update. We shall see, though. Oof, the small males are showing up now. We had a couple runs of some nice males. Now it's just some small males. Ah, dude. It's okay, Scarecrow can't aim, but we got one of them. Do I think the next map would be Africa 2.0? I mean, maybe empty. I don't know though. It's hard to say. I'm hoping. I'm hoping they'll give us the map we've been asking for for once. It's been a couple years since we actually got the exact map that we had been requesting. Are you able to shoot more than two at a time? Only on rare occasions, Grey Wolf. Most of the time I only get two. But occasionally, I can get three down if they take longer to spook off than normal. It's a weird deer. Like, we got two right there. We might be able to get a third. This is typically how I have to get my third, is just... Trying to get it as it's trying to run away. Only does down there. That's up to you, Ryan. That is up to nobody but yourself. Clicked ammo, not rifles. What the? I said ammo. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Oh, and guys, do you like how I changed up the look of the uh, layout on the stream? I don't know if you guys noticed it, but I made all of the uh, the overlay smaller. And then I also squished the st the screen a little bit. I, I, I squished the output of Call of the Wild. So you guys can actually see my cache in the top right, and you can see, like, the uh, buttons at the bottom of the screen as well. I just have it so it's, like... I essentially just uh, stretched it out a little bit to make it so that you guys could see everything 
Uh, without making it look too strange either, like... Because obviously I don't want it to stretch the game out so much that it doesn't look good, but... I did it enough to where you guys could see everything. <laughs> yeah, Gruntly. I had more at one point and then the moose grind happened. The moose grind broke my bank because of the amount of time resets I had to do just to get them to show up in their zones. It was kind of insane how often I was having to time reset just to get my moose to their zone. I ended up spending like 1.5 million on moose time resets. It was awful. But I suppose it was worth it. We ended up getting three of the Great One Moose, so can't really complain. Oh, these are giving me great shots. Ah, we almost got the third. And now we did. Gonna have to get the big guy next time around. Super rares are more rare than a great one, Billy Bob. They're much more rare. Didn't even see this one was right there. Gotcha, Bubba. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, definitely, Yama. I agree. They need to increase the floating time for sure. It takes way too long to retrieve the floating animals. Yeah, it's pretty wild, Ghost. That is pretty amazing. I don't know if we got both of them, but we got one at least. Hey, Bart, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. 308 or M1 for Whitetail? I would say 308 is probably a little bit better, but you can use both and be successful with it. They're both really good guns. Literally, the only difference between the M1 and 308 is the 308 has slightly less recoil. They deal about the same amount of damage. They kill them at the same speed, you know. Alright, well that guy's getting away. What is a super rare? It's a diamond that also has a rare fur type. So an albino diamond would be a super rare. Uh, yeah, eyeballs, you did miss uh, a couple things, actually. We got a diamond lion, and then we got one diamond whitetail so far in our first, like, 50 whitetail kills. Or maybe it was like 40. 40 or 50 kills. What is the icon for super rare? Uh, there is no special icon for super rares. It's just a diamond scoring animal that has a special fur type. Indeed, Bart. The, the lion was a big cat indeed. A very large male. Nice, Lexus. That's awesome. You need a diamond white tail. I know, Jaden. We gotta get one more. We gotta, we gotta get that counter to go up by one more. We're trying. Means great one next lake. I don't know if that's what it means, but you know what? Uh, we can go with that. I, I like that one. We'll go with it. Means great one. <laughs> Yeah, that would be cool, uh, Game Slayer. I'd like to see that. Just to give, like, a, especially newer players, more of an indication that they killed something really special. 
I do agree that if super rares had a special metal, that would be really nice. Means ultra rare next lake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I doubt that'll ever happen. Scarecrow ain't getting no ultra rares. Looks like it's just two bucks there. Or, never mind, there's another. Hi, <laughs> he got to hug the tree before he died. Yeah, an ultra rare is a great one with a rare fur type. So like if I got an albino great one, that would be an ultra rare. This other one popped up on this tree over here. He's having a good day. Uh, it looks really good, Bart. I haven't actually played it, but I've seen lots of people play it. Seems like a good game. Which one of the members has the typical great one? Uh, Diffusion Zaki has one of them. And then somebody else was posting one in my Discord today as well. I don't know if they're a member or not, but... Uh, yeah, Spicy, it's definitely possible. A lot of people really like the uh, Yukon grind for Moose. I'm not personally big of a f that big of a fan of it, but it is definitely possible, and a lot of people like it. Um, I, I kind of got an idea of what I want to do, Jaden, but I'm not sure if it'll work out. But don't worry, we'll do we'll do something for a hundred k. Okay, yeah, I really screwed up there. I, I forgot where the deer was I was trying to flick to. I ended up flicking to nothing. This kills your first diamond. Rocky Mountain Elk scored 498.78. That's crazy, Weston. That's a good one. Too much work for a great one. I'll just watch Crow. Hey, I mean... I'm glad that I can... At least uh, give you some entertainment on the great one grind. I have a diamond widget and a diamond blue wildebeest on my map, but can't find their zone. Are, are you saying that like you found one and then you lost it and couldn't figure out where it went? Got trolled by 0 0.14 on a level 5 moose. Oh no, Foxy Wind. That's the worst. So close yet so far. Ooh, that was a butt shot. Nah, not great. You need another blessing for Red Deer? Uh, great one for Kaluk. There you go. Do I tail get to level three? Yes, they do, Marcus. That is the max level for them. Please don't spam the same thing in my chat. You just gotta say it once, man. Give me time to respond. There's, there's a bunch of people here. Can't always respond instantly, you know? Give me some time, man. I'm doing my best. How is that not vitals? Follow the wild being rude. And 
and reloading. I know, right? Gruntly crazy. Oh, yeah, Clay Drew. Those reds are rude to you. Also, welcome back. Do you get a plaque for 100k subs? You do, eyeballs. You get the uh, silver play button. Uh, yes, Stasis. You would be killing the threes. No, I didn't get the great one bear uh, wins. I didn't. I'm still grinding for it off and on, just uh, haven't been streaming it because I feel like it's not very entertaining to watch as it's just an hour of literally seeing nothing and then shooting like a few bears at the end of their drink time. Then you reset the time, see nothing for three hours of the drink time once again, and then shoot a few bears at the end of it. I, I just felt like it wasn't very entertaining to watch. How many did I shoot by now? Well, I'm close to a thousand since we started it back up, but that brings us to like 3,500 in total, like 35 or 3,600 in total since it released. But yeah, about a thousand in the last couple of weeks. Want them to bring back squirrels? Are you talking about like the uh, the ones that you couldn't claim? But I'm assuming you're wanting them to be like an actual species to hunt in the game, yeah? I'd like that. I would love to see some squirrels in the game. That would be nice. Got some big bucks at this lake this time around. Nice, Garrett, that's awesome. So you know how there's those like little, uh, I guess the static ambient birds landing that just randomly f fly around like this? These little things? There used to be squirrels that were the same thing. They were just kind of like little ambient squirrels that would run across the ground and then like disappear. And then you could shoot them, but you couldn't claim them. They used to have those a while back, like the first couple years of the game. Yeah, the weasels too. Marcus, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Really appreciate it. Keep up the work. Your streams are awesome and you're very interactive with your viewers. Awesome work. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I try my best. I try my best to uh, do what I can to respond to everybody. Three bucks here. Wow. Yeah, I know, Cloudy. That's insane. Like, absolutely insane. Where did we pop both of those? There's one. Hasn't fired you yet? That's true. I haven't. I appreciate that, Clager. Appreciate the compliment. Uh, check out my Whitetail Guide, ET25. Hey Riley, how's it going? You missed one diamond whitetail and a diamond, uh, what's it called? A diamond lion as well. Diamond lion and diamond whitetail. Oh, plenty of them, Foxy. Plenty of them. Oh, there's a deer. There they are. They're popping in. There's two at least. 
Uh, we'll just shoot one of them. I don't want to accidentally delete the zone if the others haven't respawned. There we go. We got one of them. Ah, yeah, true, Glacier, true. I mean, look at the bright side, right? Can you get a melanistic great one, Whitetail? Technically, yes, Columbia, you can. Nobody's ever found one, though. Doing a grind on Rancho is late and easier? I think it is, Riley. For a couple of reasons. One, the deer are less spread out. They're only on the left half of the map. So just this river, Belmont uh, swamp, and then the lakes over on the left side as well, and then the southern coast. So you don't have to search the right half of the map. And so I think that alone makes it easier to find all your whitetail. They also seem to be very consistent and reliable here on Layton. Uh, he's dying eventually. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about taxing the old trophies, Yamarama? Yeah, that was unfortunate that we couldn't, but... I, I can understand why, because those trophies wouldn't have had any system in place to save them. So it would be impossible for them to, uh... be able to get taxed. Oh. <laughs> I had to. Little light brown female there. That was that was full on turkey abuse right there. That shouldn't be allowed. I don't even know if I vitally hit that first one we shot. It's looking like I didn't. I don't think I did. No, he definitely didn't vitally hit the first one. Unfortunate. Um, if you're just looking for the great one, I'd say just go for it, Bubba. From uh, my experience so far, I don't think it affects the great ones. So I'd say just go straight for it. We do a little... Ah, so close. Almost was able to uh, get him as well, actually. <laughs> that death. Oh, that was great. Nice, Bubba, that's awesome. Sounds like you're doing good so far, man. Sounds like you're doing great. Texas Hard shot it with the muzzle loader. Ooh, maybe none. I I don't know too much about how good it is at Texas Hard Shotting, though. Like, is it possible to Texas Hard Shot with the muzzle loader on a white tail? I've never tried it before. So I, I don't know if it's actually possible. I'd have to test it extensively to get comfortable. Hey, Tokyo, how's it going, man? Yeah, you got that one-year badge. Looking good, man, looking good. What is my favorite great one that I've shot? I've got a 50-50 rack that's half the typical rack and half the uh, small rack for whitetail. I think that's gotta be my favorite. Either that or my super close tips uh, drop time rack. That one was really cool, too. Nothing there. Let's do a quick little reset. I I know Tokyo, that's what we've been saying. 
It's been probably 60 or 70 since we got that diamond. We should get another diamond soon if we keep up with the average of one every 100. But we could go on a streak with like nothing showing up for a while, so hopefully we don't. Hopefully we'll get one more. Definitely none of those guys though. Have I got a typical rat? Great one. I don't, Ice Man. It's the only one I need, and it's the one that I wanted the most. Call the Wild knew that I wanted it, and they, they didn't give it to me because of that. I believe, though, we got this. We will get it eventually. Oh, yeah, I, I know which one you're talking about, Clay. Drew. I've never been a fan of that one. Casey really likes that look for the uh, great one, but I don't know. I was never a fan of that version of the 50-50. Like, that 50-50 rack just looks unnatural. Oh, there's a three. Hey. Ah, uh, I already shot the other. <laughs> I shot the other, though, so I can't shoot him or else it'll delete the zone because there won't be enough in that herd. Actually, wait a minute. No, 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 we, we got another buck here, actually. I just realized. We, we, have, we have one more buck. That'll be fine. Oh, my gosh, that shot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that we, uh, can't believe we made that. I probably should not have took that shot. That was not a smart shot to take, but... We got him. Please be diamond. Oh, it definitely is, Jaden. That's a big rack. Doing exactly what I'm doing right now, Henry. I've killed 26,000 whitetail and 20,000 red deer. Doing great one grinds, so. The money piles up from that. I've harvested 2,000 plus moose with nine diamonds, 16 trolls, five piebald. Feel like I want to give up something. The great one haven't shown up yet. I, I feel you, man. That's how I feel on the bear, Christian. Like, the black bear great one grind has been brutal for me. We're getting close to 4,000 without finding it. 263. There we go. There we go. We got we got it off the number. We're, be we're looking good now. Look at that beauty. Cool little pose for him to die in as well. Take a little screenshot of that. Oh, did I just? Oh, uh, just to show people it's a stream, Bart. No, Lepton, I didn't end the stream. It dropped for a second. It was just a brief drop, guys. Just re refresh again. It was just a brief uh, frame drop this time. Nothing major. Honestly, the first time that it's done that. Hey, we got them all. Oh! Albino. Let's go. Level one albino. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's an albino. We got an albino, guys. There we go. It's a little feller, but you know what? I don't even care. It's an albino. He's still a rare. He's adorable.
And there he goes. The little level one albino is down. You love to see it. It floated all the way over there. <laughs> it, it's like the game just wants me to walk. All right, later, Bart. Thank you for uh, watching. No worries, Savoy. So many level one albinos. Well, my last uh, level one was a piebald, actually. Can we keep him? I mean, we already shot him, so we'll be keeping him in our lodge. Do I duck hunt? Uh, in game, yes. In real life, no. I don't. Um, you can definitely do that, Zaki. You can definitely do that. 128, what a small male. Cute little guy, though. Look at that. Kind of a cool one. You have one of each fur type. Nice, Foxy. Um, speaking of writing it down, let me write down that we just got a rare. There we go. Have I killed an albino lion before? Uh, yes, I've killed a few of them, actually. The albino lions are so nice. Oh my gosh. There's so many deer here. <laughs> The zone's loaded this run. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it definitely is a very large portion of the community, uh, Christian. There's definitely a lot of people in the uh, Spanish-speaking community of Call of the Wild, for sure. I think there's just not a lot of uh, creators that speak Spanish. As far as like content creators, at least I'm not too familiar with them. But then again, I kind of just do my own thing and don't really pay attention to what other content creators are doing. Later, Alex. Just got my first uh, diamond red deer today. It was a 263. Nice redneck. That's awesome. Your friend and you have a race for who can collect all the rare skins for male lions. Nice. That's awesome, dude. Sounds like a fun thing to do. She needs blonde and I need dark brown. I still need the blonde, uh, Foxy. Yeah, I need a blonde male. That's right now the only one I'm missing is the, the blonde male. Glad you like it, uh, Yama. Wasn't there a third male here? There is. Get back here. <laughs> he got caught up in the tree as we shot him. Amazing. Gotcha, Christian. Gotcha. I know the, um... I know the uh, Brazil community for Call of the Wild is pretty large. Uh, Chris, C Chris C, I believe that's how you say his name. He, he's been saying that there's a very large uh, following for the uh, Brazilian community of Call of the Wild. I think the Brazilian community actually might be one of the bigger communities in Call of the Wild. When I do time resets for great ones, do you pick the exact starting time or do you set a little after drinking time? 
I kind of only put it back like an hour stasis and the reason I do that is because typically during a run I have to change the time at least twice to get specific herds back to their zone due to them just being stubborn and not wanting to get there on time so I only set it back an hour because I can do an entire run in less than an hour and I'm gonna be resetting the time a couple times to get them in there anyway no, Blakester, I won't be. Like I've already said previously, Blakester, um, I'm just not interested in continuing something that was causing, like, the two opposing sides in the community to argue over it all the time. And so I'd rather just not be part of it. Not to mention, I think at this point it's clear that I don't really need it. We're still smacking Whitetail super quickly and we got a great one in 1300 kills the other day. I think we'll be fine without it. No method can change the fact that I, I can kill like 100 Whitetail an hour. We, we got this. Kevin, thank you for the 23 months, dude. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, man. Hope you're doing good. Oh, and also, want to make it clear, I'm not against you guys using it if you want to. You guys can use it as much as you would like. I just personally am not going to. Yeah, 23 months is wild. That is nuts. Hey, Lincoln, we got a couple diamond whitetail. We got an albino whitetail, and we got a diamond lion. So, in other words, it's been a pretty solid day, honestly. And a very good day of grinding. Hey, Pops Pistols, how's it going? Smoked him. Great one now, maybe. I mean, anything's possible. 172. Can you grind your map with the help of friends like multiplayer, but with friends? Uh, you could, Roberto. You would just have to make sure that your friends know, like, uh, how you're trying to grind. Like, if you don't want them deleting zones, just make sure that they know to use, like, tripods and stuff. That's the only thing I'd worry about if you're doing multiplayer with friends, is just make sure that they're not deleting your zones and that they know how you want to be hunting. But yeah, you can totally do it in multiplayer. I know a few people that have done that. Done like duo grinds with their friends. Yeah, Emery, I remember you. Uh, I didn't shoot over the back of that deer, I promise. Hey, Asher, how's it going? How those deer not spook? Because they weren't rendered in. If they're not rendered in, they can't spook off. Yes, none. We're killing all males currently. We went around my map and killed off all the level 1s a few days ago, and now we've just been back to the... Actually, it was about a week ago at this point. And yeah, now we're back to just shooting everything that shows up in our zones. Just whichever ones give me the best shots we take. Oh, another three! Dude. We're on a good streak. We're on a good streak today. That's, dude, is that three? That's three level threes at this lake today. 
That is three threes at this lake. That is the most threes that we've seen since stopping HM. Three in like, what, 120 kills or something like that? Today's going good. How many kills is that? Let me check. No, that's not Big Rack. That's a small one. When do we start hunting Whitetail today? I think we started hunting Whitetail at like 3 o'clock. So it's been like an hour. It's been like an hour and 20 minutes. So we've killed about 120 Whitetail. Three of them in 120 Whitetail. That is the best we've had in a while. Wait, did I even vitally get him? Did I miss vitals? Yep. Yep, I miss vitals. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Now we gotta figure out where he went. All right, so he ran this way. Duck game, very, very much duck game. I bet we shot in between the lungs. Calling it right now, we must have shot in between the lungs. Carrots? Yeah, yeah, we tossed carrots at it again, you know. It was carrots instead of bullets. Was a troll anyway? Not necessarily. Turkeys up here? That's amazing. Oh, he turned. Oh, well, we're not going to go free him, I guess. Where did our dog go? Okay, he's up here. There's the blood. Can't be too much further away. 259, maybe. We'll see. Could be close. Could be around that range. Duck is now the deer aim. It is. This is now the new deer aim. The deer the deer duck aim. Where did it go? I keep losing track of it. I don't know where it went. The tracks just seemingly come to an end. We might need to get the dog back on the trail. Hey Luke, how's it going? Watching and grinding Whitetail at the same time? Nice, Emery. Nice. Guessing it's going to be a troll? Could be. You never know. It's like 50-50 with this rack. But it looked like it had good spread. There it is. Finally found it. How many great one racks are there? For the white tail, there is six of them. Yep, it would have been a troll. And it just did not even reach the heart. Wow. So yeah, that one's a troll. Feels bad, man. Killed a super rare piebald fallow. Nice, dude. That's awesome. I will check it out after the stream if I can remember.
<laughs> They're all small males this time. <laughs> he did a full flip. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we actually got vitals on him. Nice. Another male. Uh, Bart, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. That's super generous of you. Can I still do the famous scream? I mean, if I spot like a great one, yeah. I mean, I, I did the other day very similarly when I found that super rare. But thank you so much for the super chat once again. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, best tip I can give Haley is go to YouTube and search up how to start a channel in 2023. That'll get you the best uh, variety of useful information. Uh, the only thing that could happen, Colton, is maybe it might create a brand new herd. That's what's happened in, during the times where I've accidentally shot does. Usually, it'll just... Either nothing will happen, or that doe will merge with a couple bucks and create a new herd. What is a super rare? A super rare is a diamond with a rare fur type. Do I have an albino duck? I do. I have one albino harlequin duck. I uh, know I got it, Landon. I already read it off. That's the big buck we were going to take, and then we couldn't get him. Gonna wait for them all to kind of bunch up. That actually... Yeah, this is actually going to be easier. It, like, bounced me up right at the perfect height to get him. There we go. We got the big boy, too. That went well. Oh, no, Landon. That's not good, man. Uh, do I have a diamond for every animal in the game? Not every animal. Most of them, but not all of them. We're on Leighton Lakes. What do I hunt in real life? I've been hunting for black-tailed deer. And Roosevelt elk. Never got one, though, sadly. But that's hunting, am I right? Do I ever hunt musk deer in the game? Yeah, sometimes I do. I've done a little bit of musk deer hunting in the past. Do I have an albino wolf? Uh, yes, I do. I have an albino gray wolf, I believe. Exactly, Colton. Nice, Ryan.
Oregon, Ryan. I live in Oregon. I hunted elk with my dad when I was a kid. Same with blacktail deer. Hunted it with him, and then after he passed, I hunted blacktail with one of his old work partners. And then the next year after that, I went with a uh, friend of my sister's, or half sister, I guess. Nice K and X sounds like a sounds like an interesting combination. Definitely sounds like an interesting combination. Smoked him. Anything good? Yeah, Colton, we got a couple diamond whitetail and a diamond uh, lion, as well as an albino whitetail deer. What's my biggest scoring whitetail that's not a great one? 291. Unfortunately, they can't get that big anymore. That was back before they lowered the uh, score requirements. Where can the red deer be on Tiavaroa? The entire top half of the map has them. Pretty much all of the lakes at the top half will have Lots and lots of, uh, red deer, as well as the river, in a few different places. Not too often we actually get three whitetail in one zone. That's awesome. How many kills since my last great one? About 400. Yeah, that's a floater. We may have got three in one zone. But one of them floated. <laughs> Which essentially makes it just two. Oh, definitely Tango. Uh, definitely possible. Uh, we will uh, organize that for sure, you know? What is my average per great one? Between one and 2,000, it kind of fluctuates a lot. Typically, it's between one and 2,000, though, for the white tail. But it can vary a lot from person to person. That's just uh, what it took for me. Shot a 277 estimate white tail level two. Nice, Foxy, that's awesome. Guys, we are less than 50 subs away from 94.3, so if you're enjoying the content and you haven't subbed already, be sure to do so. Really would appreciate it. We're trying to push towards 100k subscribers, and uh, every little bit helps, you know. Not to mention, I post daily content, and if you're enjoying it, uh, that's the best way to not miss out on it. Just a solo doe. Solo doe, though. Thank you, Dakota. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. That was a fun stream. I had quite a bit of fun last night, for sure. Only two bucks. Can I hit that? Yes, we can. Holy. 
Jeez, Ghost, that's wild, dude. Uh, yeah, I haven't been able to shoot either, uh, Michael. We never even found any elk when I was hunting for them. We spent hours searching, but... At least with the Roosevelt elk here in Oregon, like... If you don't know where the herds commonly inhabit, and you're not following them throughout the year, good luck finding them. Almost everybody that I know around here that's been successful with elk, they followed them all year and kept track of, like, where they would commonly be. What have you missed? You missed a diamond lion as well as a couple diamond whitetail and an albino whitetail. No vitals on that somehow. Ah, man, just missing shots. Missing the easy shots, man. Gotcha, Ryan. Yeah, a lot of the people that uh, my dad was friends with, they, they'd keep track of specific herds. They'd follow them throughout the year. Take notes of wherever they saw them. Take notes of where they would typically be during certain weather. And that is, that's pretty much what you gotta do to be successful elk hunting around here. Cause they're tough. They're really tough. Oh, that's rough, Soul Hugh. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the unfortunate thing about different parts of the world having different time zones. Also, guys, I'm kind of thinking we might end up doing a second Call of the Wild stream later tonight. I'm kind of feeling like doing a second one. You know, every once in a while I get days where, like, I'm just enjoying it so much that I want to do another one. And today's one of those days I'm kind of feeling like uh, jumping back to probably... Probably jumping back to the lions later tonight. Because I actually had a lot of fun with the lions. What do you mean, Jimmy? I'm not yelling. This is yelling right here! See, I'm not yelling. That would be yelling. There's a difference between yelling and talking clearly into the microphone so it can actually pick up your voice and uh, not sound like I'm low energy, right? In order to get the microphone to sound good, you have to talk clear and crisp. If you don't, it's not going to come out good. You're not going to have good audio. You gotta talk very uh, crisp and clearly into the microphone. Killed a deer that was gold just now. Nice, Ashley. That's awesome. Congrats on that gold. Have I shot a red deer in real life? No, Dakota, I haven't. There's no red deer around Oregon, really. I think the closest red deer would be, like, uh, Texas Game Ranches. When am I going to stream with Hunter for Mela and Albino? Five stars. I don't know, Jason. Probably not anytime soon. Like, I got a couple of the uh, rares and... I've not really had any interest in going for more until they add more content to the game. I don't know. Like, even though they've got the rares now. 
it's still just like the same maps. There we go. Got a couple of them there. Am I going to do moose grinds in the near future? Maybe, Riley. I haven't decided when we'll get back to it. Uh, we'll definitely return to moose at some point, though. Is the 279 whitetail good? Uh, wait, 279. That should not be a thing anymore. They they can't really get to be that big as a diamond nowadays. Uh, and great ones can't be that small. That that doesn't sound that doesn't sound real, Musa. <laughs> Just saying, doesn't sound real. Do I play fishing games? I play them occasionally, but that's it. Well, then you can leave, Jimmy. I don't care, man. I'm not going to change the way I talk just to please you. Especially considering I'm talking the way I talk. Not my fault your ears think I'm yelling. You got in like 2020. Okay, that makes more sense, Musa. Yeah, back then that would have been about an average one. It's got a diamond whitetail on Layton. Nice, Michelle. That's awesome. Now, oh, there's the floater from last time. Favorite animal to hunt? Whitetail. Easily the whitetail. All right, we need to main menu real quick. What do you mean, uh, mythical deer? What do you mean you're so unlucky? Found the glacier great one bear on Silver Ridge Peaks. I have over 3,000 kills for them. Should I shoot him now? What's your favorite fur type? Yeah, shoot it. Smoke it. Get him down. Ah, uh, because, Michael, some people need to know how stupid their comment was. There's some comments you see where it's just like, wow, that is stupid. And so you have to address it. And plus, I kind of have fun doing so. Is that the end of the day? He's the one wasting his time, taking time out of his day to make a stupid comment, you know? Might as well have some fun with it. Is 272 to whitetail a big diamond? Yes, that's a good one. Anything above 270 is a pretty good whitetail. Exactly, Columbia. That's what I'm saying. Would my favorite be Blacktail if they had a great one? Probably, Michael. Uh, I do really like the black tail deer. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if them doing a great one for the black tail would make me enjoy black tail hunting more than white tail. For one reason in particular, they they don't actually respawn very consistently. Black tail are in small herds, three to five typically. And so if you end up shooting like two or three males out of a herd, Chances are that might be three of the four that were in there, or like if you shoot two out of a three, 
uh, deer zone, it's not going to get its respawns. They're going to go create a brand new zone. So it's just a very inconsistent grind. Blacktail deer are not consistent in Call of the Wild. They're always moving constantly. They're kind of like moose. So I don't actually think it would be a fun great one grind, but I want a blacktail great one still just because I think it would look amazing. Not sure how that one missed. A 277 estimate was a 240 gold. Jeez, Foxy, close, man. Not insane, but decent. Uh, yeah, Teddy, we're still not doing HM anymore. We're still doing no HM. So if there's no great one, I mean, there probably won't be a great one yet. We just got a great one not that long ago. So I don't think we'll get another great one anytime super soon. Hey, he pushed him out of the way. <laughs> That's so rude. He pushed him out of the way, man. What do I want and think the next map will be? I think it'll... I don't know what I think it'll be, to be honest. I hope it's Africa 2.0 or a Texas map or an Australian map, but it's so hard to say what it'll be. Welcome back, uh, Lanier. Welcome back. You didn't miss too much. Oh, yeah, that sometimes happens, uh, Foxy. Nobody really knows why, but sometimes that does happen. Uh, not really, Bubba. Next map is gonna be a Leighton reskin. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine it's just like a winter version of Leighton. Not gonna lie, that would actually be kind of fun. I remember so long ago they did a poll or not a poll it was a uh, it was a survey and one of the options was asking like would you be interested would you guys be interested in buying a map that is like a different season of an existing map I thought that was a pretty cool idea I don't know if they ever decided whether they would do it or not but I do think that would actually be a cool idea to get like different seasons of Leighton Lakes and Hirschfelden and stuff like that like maybe spring Hirschfelden and winter Leighton. That could be so cool. And maybe like they have slightly different animals, maybe? Like maybe one or two of the animals are different even though they're technically the same map. Just a different uh, season. Cause I mean, there's a lot of animals that are like in certain areas during specific seasons. I guess that would kind of make sense, right? Could be cool. Two thirteen.
This one should not have ran too far. I got a question, guys. Would y'all be interested in... Like, if I did a live stream, opened up my Mississippi map to multiplayer, and then we all did, like, a deer drives in that bottom corner, uh, obviously it'd be first come, first serve on who gets into the server, but do you think that that would be fun? Would you guys enjoy that if I did, like, a multiplayer stream where you guys can join my Mississippi and we can do uh, drives in the bottom corner where all those uh, animals tend to congregate? I think that could be fun. I think that could be a really cool way to get, like... Not only some more interaction with you guys, but also just have a ton of fun. I think that could be amazing. I The only problem I can think of is maybe people blaming diamonds that weren't theirs. Like, somebody shoots a diamond and somebody else tries to steal it. I could see that being a problem. Because we'd be all, like, close together in a corner trying to blast a bunch of animals. But, I don't know. We could try it. I mean, you can't, uh... You gotta try it, right? You'll never know how it goes unless you try it, so we might as well... Might as well try to do something like that. I think it could be fun. I uh, know, Ryan. You cannot join PC servers if you're on Xbox or PlayStation or vice versa. No spotting rule and only use the 300? Oh, gosh. You know, I think we'll actually do that, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this stream. And then later tonight, probably like one to two hours from now, I will come back and we'll do something like that. I think that could be fun. But thank you guys for being here. Uh, thank you all for... All of the brand new subs and stuff like that. Really appreciate it as always. Uh, super excited for uh, trying this out. So yeah. I will uh, see y'all later. Peace.